made it to Vegas. Got my bag, getting a taxi. I still think it's hilarious that I'm here. Made it in the hotel room. Let's see that view. Nice. Got a good view of the wave pool. Wave pool, other pool, other pool, other pool. I'm most excited about the mountains though. I'm gonna go get some food because I haven't eaten anything today. I'm gonna get some coffee because I haven't had any coffee either. So excited to eat. Can't freaking wait. Alright, got some lunch. Headed up to my room to get some work done. And I think I'm gonna go... Oh, hitting that... Hitting that light. That desk light. Look at that. I think I'm gonna go explore around a little bit. Check out the uh, the pool. Gonna go see this firsthand. Wow. I'm gonna go get some coffee first because I haven't had any today. I've also never gambled before, so I'm gonna do that later. Got some coffee. Definitely my bad for not bringing a swimsuit, but it's also super windy. Oh, whoa. Didn't see that. Come on in. Welcome to my room. Let me show you around a bit. This is the bed where I will sleep tonight. This is my locked mini bar, as well as goodies. This thing is also weight sensitive, so if I take anything, they'll know. Ice, I assume, is free, so I'll probably fill that up. This is my reading chair. Welcome to my bathroom. Enter into the luxurious spa area. A nice jacuzzi, complete with jets. This is a shower in which I have just showered. And here is a toilet where I can do a man's business. This is my bathroom TV, where I can watch commercials while I shave. Sink. This is my robe. These are my flip-flop slippers. This is my bed. This is my desk. This is my closet. This is my bathtub. This is underneath my sink. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of my room and had a great of a time as I did. Welcome to Mandalay Bay. So yeah, that's my room tour. Good digs. There's a lazy river here, but I forgot my swimsuit, so I'm gonna have to go a little naked. Oh, and a lot of you guys have been tweeting at me asking if I have anything on under my robe. And the answer to that question is, oh, I'm here in Vegas for a job that I've got to go film here in just a little bit. Just here for one night, all by myself. I've never gambled before, so giving myself a $50 max, maybe a $40 max. I don't know and try my hand at probably the slots because I can figure it out by myself and won't have to look like a fool. But I'm hoping to walk out of here with 16 grand, modestly. I've already lost 3,500, but figure I can have an upswing. So, but yeah, living that Mandalay Bay life. Room service brought me this robe because they didn't have one in my room, and I asked for it. And they also gave me these slippers, which was nice of them. I already prepaid for bottle service, so. So yeah, after my filming, I have the night free. I've got it mapped out. 
I have 15 clubs in which I'm going to be hitting up all but two open after 1 a.m. Um, and my flight leaves at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So that'll be, it'll be a pretty decent night. I've already prepaid uh, for 15 clubs for VIP access. I got a good deal for like, it was like 3,500 bucks for all of them, sort of like a like a day pass for all these VIPs places. So that'll be pretty fun. I'm going to see Cirque du Soleil, I'm going to see Jersey Boys. I'm going to go see Britney Spears. I'm going to go see Starlight Express. So it should be, should be pretty fun. Well, probably ought to get ready and get going. Almost to that Vegas nightlife. Oh, I feel like such a wild man. Oh, I feel like such a wild man in this city. It's just like so much to do. It's like a big playground. Oh, there's roller coasters and and gambling and and so many great things to do. I should note that this is one of my least favorite cities. I've only been here once before, and the only reason I like it more than I thought I did is because for some reason I didn't remember that there were mountains everywhere, and I haven't seen mountains in a while. So that's pretty fun. All cleaned up, ready to go. Gonna go film. at the Cosmopolitan where this shop is. Got the filming done. I'm gonna drop my freaking crap off and uh, kinda go run around. Got my stuff back. Now I'm gonna go hit up the strip. Got a lot of things planned. Got a lot of people that have asked me to come and promote their hotel and um, you know, getting into a lot of exclusive areas, so you're gonna see like a pretty inside scoop of what Las Vegas is like, really like, like in the deep underground, the nitty gritty kind of a thing. Um, got a lot of connections here. It'll be a unique perspective that normally somebody like, you know, George Clooney or Barbara Streisand would only be able to see, so. Just gotta figure out what to do here. Kinda gotta figure out where to go. It's about to get insane though. You never thought you'd see Vegas like this. Oh dear goodness. They got a Shake Shack. <coughs> Been a good while since I've had some Shake Shack. Look at this thing. Oh yeah. Normally crinkle cut fries miss the mark, but these? These are right on the mark. And the best part is, is my wallet didn't get raw paid having to get it. It's relatively affordable. Made it to the Venetian. Plane said it was their favorite spot, so I wanted to check it out. like five miles. I didn't really film that much because it frankly hasn't been that interesting. Okay, so I looked it up and I walked, I think, eight miles today. And I got new shoes. These, what are those? And they're not eight mile walking shoes. So my dogs are barking big time. So I came back here, I laid in my bed for like an hour, maybe 30 minutes. But I have to go try the slot machines because I never tried that before. And I'm here and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. I can't wait. I'm gonna make millions of dollars tonight. And I can't wait. I'm gonna try slot machines and then I'm gonna do high stakes poker. All right. I think I found my first machine. Winner's shot. I'm gonna go real big for the first one. Real, real big. All right, here we go. This is it. And spin. Ah, uh, 
didn't win the first time. Okay, 30 lines again, spin. Oh cool, I won 20. Okay, spin. Nothing, I have one more spin left. I ran out. Done with this machine. Moving on. I'll always remember my first though. All right, I found my second machine. Da Vinci Diamond. Came at Lane's recommendation, so I'm gonna go for a fiver this time. Five. Goodbye, money. Didn't win. We didn't win again. Okay. Now I'm up, I'm back, I'm at 5.30. They just said it might be illegal to film in a casino, so I'm probably gonna do it like down here. Okay, game, okay. got 80 more credits. Okay, I'm still up, I'm $5.15 right now. Okay, now I'm down to 4.85. 3.51, this is like anticlimactic, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop recording for a little bit. Well, I'm up $10, and I figured it's time to go. I'd rather win than lose. I'm gonna go cash out. I have to leave my hotel in like three and a half hours. This is the money I pulled out. This is the money I won. Makings of a millionaire. Though since I never have cash, it kind of feels like I won $60, even though I didn't. I'm definitely gonna miss this robe. One forty-five a.m., 5.29 a.m., I have to go. To buy a comfortable robe. You were my Wilson. Only friend I had on this trip. Okay, I gotta catch my flight. <sighs> Made it to the airport on time and not feeling too bad. Gonna go get some coffee. Thank God. Bag checked. Good to go. Back in Dallas. Off the plane. Gotta go find my baggage claim. Made it back. All in all, good trip. Vegas is a weird town. I'm, I'm like tired, I don't even know how to like recap. It was a good trip. Would I go to Vegas again tonight? No. Would I go again tomorrow? No. Would I go again maybe like a year from now, two years from now? Yeah, absolutely, I would.